Arish Manwani, you're with Unilever. You're responsible for a large number of um, geographies, uh, Africa, Asia, Central and Eastern Europe. You've just been speaking at the INSEAD Leadership uh, Summit in Asia um, about new capitalism. It was a session that uh, became heavily dominated uh, by CSR issues. And in that session, you said that uh, companies should have a social mission. What, what did you mean by that? Not just companies having a so I think brands must have a social mission. And the reason we, uh, we like to say that is because uh, when, you're in a, when you're in the business of fast-moving consumer goods, we believe that the best leverage that we can provide in terms of uh, making that little bit of difference in society is the fact that billions of consumers use our brands. And if each of our brands can stand for something that is relevant to the societies in which we operate, then every time a consumer buys our brand, billions of you and multiply that impact by billion, uh, it makes a big difference. So take an example of Lifebuoy, for example. Okay, Lifebuoy is one of our uh, one of our largest selling uh, uh, brand, uh, uh, personal wash uh, brand in uh, the developing markets. We have one of the most enduring and long-standing campaigns on hand wash on Lifebuoy. That same brand probably helps in, 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 in reducing diarrheal deaths around the world more than many pharmaceutical companies because just washing your hands is, an exercise, is, is, is something that can prevent a lot of disease. And what we do is we actually have uh, a partnership with several other NGOs and so on and World Health Organizations where we go into the deepest rural places to tell people about why they should be washing hands. But we can only do it because we've got a brand called Lifebuoy. And as a consequence, 130 million people have been touched directly with this campaign. And the campaign continues. And that's the point I mean about social mission. At the end, we sell a soap. But that soap has a social mission. But you're also saying that companies should be involved within the communities. Oh, absolutely. Because, uh, again, we've operated as, as a company, Unilever has operated in, 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 in developing and emerging markets, for example, for 100 years. If you take Indonesia, India, Brazil, we've been there for many, many, many years. And one of the big learnings we've had is that as a company, you, you, you can be a multinational company, but you must remain relevant and embedded within the communities in which you operate. That does two or three things. A, it keeps you close in terms of what the consumers are saying and doing. Two, it also gives a sense of purpose to the business, which is, by the way, very motivating for the employees who work for you. So it works for us every which way you look at it. You're essentially suggesting that companies need to have um, the right sort of values and that people can identify with those values within the company. And that's how you're going to attract um, good employees. I absolutely believe that uh, growth is critical for a business. It has to be sustainable, profitable growth. It also has to be responsible growth. And if, if a company has to, ha has to be responsible, then it must have in an organizational character, a set of values which are non-negotiable. If you like the corporates through North, you cannot have, for example, a different set of values for different circumstances and different countries. We have one code of business principles that applies across the board, irrespective of where you work, because that is what we believe in. Equally, uh, uh, if you join a company, whether you join our company in Kenya or you join our company in the UK, or you join our company in Indonesia, you stand for something in terms of certain purpose and values. And we believe in it. Even though it costs money? Even if it costs money. Because at the end, uh, we believe that, that it's not about costing money. This is, the, this is the way we like to do business. It's our business model. This is not about cost and all. It's, a, it's our business model. And we believe that doing well by doing good is a business model that allows us to grow our business sustainably and profitably and therefore is also good for other stakeholders of our business including our shareholders. But the finance professors here and elsewhere will say that the only value that really counts is shareholder value. But at the end of the day you got to ask yourself whether uh, you know what are the drivers of, of, of value in an organization because ultimately value has to be sustainable it has to be longer term. We believe the best value comes out of giving our consumers what they are looking for and catering to the communities in which we live. And in the process, we think we can be a very successful company, as indeed we are. 
One uh, issue that um, Unilever is trying to grapple with at the moment is that of palm oil. Um, it came up in the session. Um, you're looking to get sustainable supplies, but there are issues with um, certification of palm oil. Uh, we were uh, amongst the, uh, the, the first to actually proactively go out there and say that we're going to source our uh, requirements of palm oil from sustainable sources, and we've given ourselves till 2015 uh, to complete this whole exercise. We also recognize that by us taking the lead in this, we now have a large support from the rest of the industry. Uh, the point here is that a lot of these activity systems ultimately have to be have to have a multiplier effect and has to be supported by the industry, by our uh, customers, by our suppliers, and it is this ecosystem that we believe can ultimately make a difference. And palm oil is an excellent example of it. We've commit made a commitment. We made a commitment, and the fact of the matter is, we've given ourselves a, a roadmap by which we're going to actually implement our commitment. Harish Mawani, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much.